Hi, Hiram here. In previous boil tests on this batch stove's BS 1.0 stove, um, I used the narrow batch stove's 22 ounce flu ultra light cook pot. This is a replacement for Heine pots or Foster pots. I used this on the, the stove like so. Being a narrow pot, I got some decent times, boil times, but I think this burner will work a little bit better with a wider bottomed pot. So I'm going to try some tests today using the Batch Stove's 10 centimeter cook pot. Oops, wait a minute. This is my sleeve I added on there. Uh, the 10 centimeter pot put out by Batch Stoves. A couple of the dimensions on this. It's uh, 3.98 inch, inches in diameter, about 10.1 centimeters. The height is 3.93 inches or 9.9 .9 centimeters. Now remember, these will vary. These are all handmade uh, pots made by a spinning process, interesting process. So they will vary a little bit. The weight on this with the lid is uh, 2.85 ounces or 80.9 grams and the capacity of this if you were to fill it up right to the brim is about three and a third cups US cups or 26.6 .6 fluid ounces US fluid ounces or about uh, 0 0.8 0 0.78 liters again I'll have all this information down below so with this wider pot bottom, see like so, I think I'll be able to get a little bit better boil time on this. So let me get some alcohol prepped, get my water prepped, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got my water to temperature. Let's like this. I have one milliliter, or rather one fluid ounce, 30 milliliters of methanol in here. I'm going to fan it a little bit to get it going. I should do a test sometime as to how stoves like this act without wind versus a little bit of breeze pushing the flame around. I've been told that I'm making this go slower by uh, moving the heat around. I think it actually takes longer if the flames are just coming straight up. But uh, maybe I should try that sometime. Uh, another thing I could do with this, it's been suggested that I put a primer pan underneath, take some of the alcohol that I've measured and put it down here, and then just put the pot right on so that the primer heat also works on the pot. That's a way to go. Another way is to have a priming wick on the, on the side here. Come on. Uh, this is one of the reasons why th this kind of stove although good in the summer is really a tough one to work with in the winter it's trying to take off see how when I wave it the flames go around okay there we go so I've got two cups of water here setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes here we are two minutes into the test the temperature is up to 118 degrees Fahrenheit I think I, you can see here that with the wider pot the flames are hitting more of the bottom of the pot and not so much running up the side. I mean you get a little bit running up the side but most of it is hitting the bottom flat on. So um, again with a jet stove kicking the flames out like this you need wider pots. I should do a test with this using my Boy Scout pot which is even wider yet just to give us an idea how this runs. So let's see how long it takes for this to get to boiling and then to run out. There we have 210, 211, 212 in 5 minutes 16 seconds. Pretty cool. So that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 16 seconds. On the previous tests Two cups of the first one I did, two cups of water came to a boil in six minutes, three seconds. That was with the uh, narrower, the 22 fluid ounce pot, 
the Heine pot replacement and then another test that I ran on it just to check on my alcohol it came out at 5 minutes 44 and now this one comes out at 516 now previously run out was 6 minutes 37 seconds or 6 minutes 45 seconds I guess I might as well just keep talking here see if how fast this runs out again I might try this I probably will try this with my boy scout pot that has a bit more width to it even than this uh, 10 centimeter pot now I'm hoping I'm pretty sure that the uh, two pots the Heine pot replacement and this 10 centimeter are both made out of pretty much the same material aluminum thin aluminum I should check on that with Sam although this one that I have is a little bit older I think this 10 centimeter I have is from quite a while ago alright so we're working on 6 minutes 44 okay so we're lasting a little bit longer than the first test I did Wait, we've already beat both of them and here it's starting to go I thought it was Okay, I may cut some out here so as not to bore you. And there it goes at 718 it looked like. Okay. I'm not sure what all just thinking here. I'm not sure why that ran so much longer. Well, I guess it only ran about, at the most, 15 seconds or so. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this again was with a wider pot, the 10 centimeter batch stoves pot versus the 22 fluid ounce Heine pot replacement. Two cups of water at 60 degrees came to a boil in 5 minutes 16 seconds, which is uh, half a minute or more better time than the previous with the, sh the smaller diameter pots. And it ran out in 7 minutes 18 seconds. Not sure why it lasted so long. It was the same amount of alcohol, but uh, it did last just a little bit longer. Okay, so that, in my mind, that's still telling me that this, any kind of a jet burner works better with a wider pot. The more diameter that there is on the bottom for the flames to hit, the better. Going up the side, you still get some of the heat off that, but I don't think you get as much as if all your flames are on the bottom. Um, I still say if you had something that just put a flame like right up in the middle so that all of the heat went across the bottom, would probably work about the best. I'll have to look through my stoves and see what it is or burners and see what I have that might fit that. Okay so I thank Sam for sending me these stoves to play with. I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input, questions, remarks, helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max. Bye now.